Hello, we're back in Hogwarts again with my ugly little thing. Uh, listen, I know it keeps me like protected more or something like that. I don't remember, but like, no, not a vibe. Okay, let's see. We ended up in Fig's classroom because I think we just had the chat with him about something. I don't know. <laughs> Main question here is, do I want to do some side quests or do I want to do... Ooh, I want to do that one. I want to learn that. What do you mean no path available? I kind of feel like I need to do this with the other quest. Okay, let's go. We're going to go do some crossed wand stuff. And then hopefully that means I can also finish Hecate's quest thing as well. We have made it to crossed wands. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Let's get it. Okay. I did it. That's it. Yay. I did it. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, <laughs> well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other duelists had better beware. Thanks. Okay. So, even though I'm very bad at dodging, I think we're going to do crossed wands and hopefully we're going to get both of the quests done in one. Oh boy. Is Sebastian here? <laughs> hey. Do you want to be my partner again? Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed wands ready? Why is that girl Big looking at me? Today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Okay, they're hyping this up a lot and I'm nervous. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. <laughs> Best believe I will never- We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Why is there four? Why- why is- is it two against four? This doesn't seem fair. Okay, so it's the same deal as last time where they have the colored shields and- okay, yeah. Now, I have to- oh! Yikes! Hello? Uh, it won't let me dodge. It won't let me dodge. It won't let me dodge. Uh-oh. I can't tell if I'm actually dodging them. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. Okay, well, I didn't dodge that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Care to try again? Leave. Get out. Hit Sebastian! Stop hitting me! Oh my god. Can y'all stop targeting me? I have a partner for a reason. There goes my wager. Ah! 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 Stop hitting me! Oh my god. Sebastian! Do something! Help! Help! They're all looking at me! Okay, we only got one now. Holy lord. Um, that was painful. What a victory! You've won the tournament! Yay! I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have After such like a 15 tries. Champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! Well, I get it. And so it 
it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. <laughs> now that I definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. <laughs> I wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Uh oh. Okay. So does that mean I did nice. it? Oopsies. <laughs> ah ha ha. Who else can I talk to? You. You can't be beat, can you? Uh, I died. Yeah, I definitely can. I just. You guys aren't real, so you don't see the 14 times I messed up. <laughs> can you let me out? Dang. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Class time. Everything Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Yes! Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Ooh. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. I did Good it. Work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay <sighs> in practice. Okay. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. I saw that. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. <laughs> I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. What? Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? Uh, what does... As you might suspect, I cannot <coughs> speak about what I did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Okay. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. I feel like she knows something that I don't. Like, she feels like something's coming. Okay, do I want to go? Mm, and we're gonna go to the her herbology class because it's in the it's in Hogwarts, and the other one is not. But I mean, we'll get to that one eventually, anyways. So I don't know if I've been in here yet. It looks cool though. No. <gasps> she looks so fun. Hey, Sebastian. <laughs> Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again. Her name is dear. Professor Garlic. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, oh. A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. <laughs> we do look forward to growing together. <laughs> I love her. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the belting bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. 
Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Oh. My God, <laughs> the soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. What was that? Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. <laughs> you can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. But... The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I collected some... Oh, what's this? Dear Professor Garlic, how very thoughtful of you and to remember that strawberries are my favorite. They're as sweet as can be. It's no wonder muggles love them so much. Everything you cultivate what the, the, cultivate seems to be such a high oh my god. Of such high quality from bitterroot to berries. I do hope that my darling niece can learn this skill whilst under your tutelage. Lenora so adores you, as do all of your students, I'm sure. Warmest regards always, Eleanor Everly. Cute. Hi. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I nearly went deaf. Mm, it's fine. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the Sorry. seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Her voice is so fun. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all oh. should know from Professor Sharp's class. I me, no. What am I you walked by at the wrong time. <laughs> okay. Me. Oh. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Okay. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora: the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. I'm sorry. The greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back huh? and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hold on. First off, since when does he... Okay, um, yeah, so why does he Hello. all of a sudden... Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Okay, I'm a little, um, unsure about nice this. Nice work in Defense Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian, and he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. <laughs> oh, well. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Huh? 
Look at that. Oh. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in the garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. I'm sorry. Kind of have your back in a fight. <laughs> booba tubers. <laughs> Not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Okay. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Thanks. Take your time. I'll see you back oh. in class. What in the? I'm back. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. She is such a vibe. I love it. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel like potions class is gonna be kind of cool, so I kind of want to do that one. This might be a little bit on the longer side of a video, just because I feel like there's- we're getting into more of the thick of it. Like there's gonna be a lot more stuff. oh, a lot more stuff to get done. Ooh, who's the professor for this? Probably already told me and I forgot. Potions is one of the most challenging oh. and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. So, is he just chilling? <laughs> Ooh, yes, I want to make a potion. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. I did it. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. This is kind of scary. Can I mess this up? <laughs> think I could <laughs> imagine he just comes over he's like disgusting awful bad did it wrong I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir hi <laughs> hmm. not an easy potion to brew well done and from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Okay. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Uh-huh. Come see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, hey. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yeah. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! 
You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm oh. Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy oh, oh, with oh, potions, oh, oh, oh. if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. Perhaps <laughs> you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh, um... Uh, is he gonna know I took it? I'll get you the fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fruit feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Ow. What does it say? Remember, da, 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 da. Borgen and Burks is an increased amount of activity outside the ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop. I just give what we know about shop. Interesting. Okay. Miss McDowell. Here's the fooper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. I swear if I get in trouble for this. You should your potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. The loss of your eyebrows. Okay. This? Oh, so I don't actually have to do it. It just... Okay. Bet. That's fine. And now we add the mallow sweet, and... That's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it. Oh. Yeah. What is happening? <laughs> well done, Garrett. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. <laughs> Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. <gasps> His accomplice will answer. No! I brewed an edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley no! brew chaos. No! Ah. Uh. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. Uh -huh. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> that was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I thought he was mad at me at first. <laughs> I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Okay. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp we may left seem yet. gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Uh-huh. Better be. Now I gotta meet with her. Oh my god. I can actually just run all the way there. <gasps> yes. I'm so weird and I like running places. Hey girl. Oh, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. Oh. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? So she was there. That's how she knows. Oh, man. Okay. I know I was told not to tell people. 
I feel like I can trust her more than Sebastian, which I know sounds crazy since I'm always like, ah, Sebastian, I have a sneaking suspicion that he cannot be trusted later in the game. I don't know if that's true. I hope she can't. I'm going to trust her. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? <laughs> Everyone's reaction. What? In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? Uh... I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. Wait. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. Why so though? <laughs> Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Who was that walking up? Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Okay. Be on your guard. Yeah. Oops, sorry, girl. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? What is happening? What? Oh my god, why is there so many side quests? Sure. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? What? She wants- Okay, I don't know if it's just the mixture of the creepy music or just the mixture of how crazy she talked in the beginning. I don't trust this, but I also kind of want to do it. <laughs> Heading into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. Oh, so brother. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. What? This is stupid. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know of your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, Frank. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. 
Okay. I just seem like a freak. Is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Okay. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide shed. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It How am I so supposed to do to that? It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. What do you mean? I'm sorry, what is that? What am I getting myself into here? Uh oh. How do I fight? I'm so lost. How do I fight this thing? This is so stupid. <laughs> why, why would anyone agree to do this? I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Hey, Grace. I got it. You're welcome. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? Shockingly, yes. <laughs> it's yours for a price. I wish I, I could did. be mean. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. That's such a random Thank thing. You again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Is she sitting like that? <laughs> Now we're going to continue on to the random scream we heard. They must have come oh. this way. Think! What's happening? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your <gasps> time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. What's happening here? What? What is that? 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 Why is it? Why is it making me look over there? Oh, what's the light go out of your eyes? I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, you jerk. Oh, whoa. Okay, I got you. Whoa. What just happened? What on earth just happened? <laughs> I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Oh, tell me about it. Uh, are you all right? I am, thanks what, in what's no that? part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? 
Ashwinders, Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Uh, yeah, who is this? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. What she is that sound? She my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. Mm. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Okay. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell. Oh my god, what? Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Okay. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. Ooh. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do Ooh. the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Yes. But first off, what is that noise? I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Oh, this one. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Mm -hmm. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What? Did you see that? disappeared what should i do now hmm this is uncharted territory i am curious about these pyres incendio beard. the flames make the pyres sink girl i was definitely close enough Did I do it? <laughs> I'm assuming yes. Who's that? I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. After I like just got you into a big fight, do but be so careful I'm... out here. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. <laughs> okay. What on earth? <laughs> oh. Uh, bye, I guess? Okay. <laughs> Greetings, oh. young Slytherin. A scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fee. How? Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum 
If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to, especially Professor Black. Well, there's another quest over here. I think I'm going to do this extra quest since I'm over here. And then I'm going to call it quits. Oh, hi. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Uh-oh, what's wrong? Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you? Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Mm. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. What? Has Renrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my it's livelihood, sad. who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous Ooh. to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. So this is going to be a nice bit more interesting. You. I wish it had been under better circumstances. No, 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 I'll be back. We're going to go get these dang carts. You've been back. Well, let me grab this. Oh, hi. What the frick was that? Ah! How? Oh my god. I did it. an enchantment the carts are returning to arm yay i didn't necessarily do it very smoothly but i did it nonetheless what now with that though oh there we go okay bet i did it I did it. I think I did it. I did it. I don't know what I did or why I'm doing it, but I did it. Now let's go to Arn. Uh oh. I should not have brought that closer to me. Uh, la, 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 la. victory that came none too soon. <sighs> yeah, no kidding. That was disgusting. Hi, Arn. Arn, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. I got Ram you. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. 
I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. Yay! <gasps> he can be a little artist again. You no, know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. Oh. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Okay. But that was a little bit more, like, exciting than I had anticipated. Uh, we're gonna zoom our way back to... Where's, like, my room? <laughs> There we go. We're going there. <laughs> Took me a little bit, but I got it. <laughs> well, I'm a skedaddle into my room. Okay. I think we've accomplished a lot. Uh, we had some turns I wasn't <laughs> really expecting. I didn't think by the end of this episode we'd be helping out some troll, but or diving for some random treasure. I still don't really get that, but we did it. With that, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully y'all had some fun, enjoyed. I think it's time to relax a little bit. We we kind of went all over the place and I'm like, but <laughs> there's a lot going on storyline wise now that I, I truly don't know where this is going. Like this has gone in a direction I did not anticipate. I don't know what these weird trials are we're doing now too. But yeah, anyways, we are going to end it here. Hope you all enjoyed, like I said, and I will see you all next time. Bye.